Hello and welcome to this Dr. Ross Maths key skill video on laws of indices for dividing powers. Now this whole thing, the x to 10 is known as a power and this x squared here is a power so we're dividing a power by a power. So remember it's the whole thing here that's known as the power, that x is known as the base and that 10 is known as the index or the exponent. Now the rule is when we divide a power by a power we subtract the indices. So for a, when we do x to 10 divided by x to 2, when we divide this power by this power, we subtract these indices. 10 minus 2 is going to be 8, so it'll be x to the power of 8. But we require that these two things here, the x and the x, they have to be the same. So the bases, as we call them, have to be the same. What about b? We've got 2 to the 20 divided by 2 to the 7, and they have a consistent base of 2. Now we subtract the indices. We do 20 minus the 7 is 13, so it's 2 to the power of 13. Then for c, we've got p to the 10 divided by p to the minus 3. We still subtract the indices. So we do 10 minus minus 3. Now when we do 10 minus minus 3, remember when we subtract a negative, we add. So we end up doing 10 plus 3, which is 13. So it'd be p to the 13. So that is a trick question there, so be careful. And lastly, we've got x to the y divided by x. Now notice there's no index on this. This is not a power. So we can just put a little index of 1, because x to the power of 1 is just the same as x. And then we can use our usual rule. We're dividing two powers so we can subtract the indices. So we can do y minus 1, which doesn't simplify at all. It's just y minus 1. And that will be the answer.